Like what we do? Consider supporting the channel by becoming a Patreon member. The link is in the description below. And as always, please, enjoy the story. Watching Phoebe frantically dart around me like some kind of magical sprite is quite the spectacle. Not being gentle, she soon had me pulled clean out of my clothing. Standing before her in just my boxers, I wanted to cry. It was so hard for me to be almost naked in front of her. What's wrong? Phoebe sensitively asks, stopping directly in front of me, holding a bra. I look away, trying to hold in my emotions. Aiden? She questions, clearly concerned. You've got to tell me what you're thinking. I... I've not been naked in front of anyone since... all of this. Oh, right. She gently smiles, handing me the bra. Let's get you more comfortable. Seconds later, the bra is soon over my shoulders and supporting my chest. It's super tight around my back, and they barely fit in the cups. Still, I always do appreciate being a little more covered. I'm gonna turn around for a second, Phoebe states, handing me a matching pair of briefs. I'm not wearing those, Phoebes, I tell her sharply. I don't see why I can't wear my boxers under that dress. Okay, she replies, rolling her eyes. I just thought... I'm not ready, sis, I interrupt, cutting her off. Sorry, I'm not trying to be rude. I know you're going to a lot of effort with the makeup and everything. Phoebe gently smiles and playfully tosses the underwear over her shoulder. No issue, she says, pulling a wider grin. You can't really wear these tights with boxers, though. Are you going to just have your legs out? I guess, I reply, pushing my long hair back over my shoulder. You do have a nice set of legs, Phoebe says, bending slightly to look at them. Very long for a boy. My emotions began to swirl. I feel the tears welling behind my eyes. Am I even a boy anymore? Ah, Aiden, Phoebe says softly. I'm sorry, did I say something I shouldn't? I shake my head and look away once more. As I close my eyes, a tear rolls down my face. Arms up! Phoebe says softly, pressing forward as she touches me gently on the arms. I do as she requests, but I still can't look at her. The room darkens as Phoebe pulls the dress down over my head. Ouch! I grumble as she forces the dress down over my body and chest. Sorry! She replies, helping me thread my arms into the sleeves. The dress then flutters down and dances just above my knees. I can feel how it's shaping around my body, from the tight feeling around my chest and waist to the lovely, airy feel between my legs. Wow, Phoebe says, zipping up the back of the dress. I thought you'd be a little big around the chest for one of my dresses, but you actually fit. I pinch and pull at it around specific areas that are uncomfortable. Women's clothes are so tight and constricting. It's a little tight around my chest, to be honest, Phoebes. I complain, feeling it all being compressed. That's when she stands in front of me and gawks at me like an abstract painting. I can see her taking in every detail. Nope, she comments, coming closer and adjusting the fit. For your first dress, I think it's okay. Yeah, I ask in reply, looking down at my body squeezed into one of her dresses. I feel weird. You absolutely shouldn't, Phoebe grumbles, I think telling me off. You're lucky to have such a great figure. I look at my sister, and the reason for her annoyance is apparent in my mind. I think she might be a little jealous. I'm sorry. Let's start you an Instagram page, Phoebe giggles, cutting me off. That way you'll get some confidence. You're going to get so much attention. Do you actually think I look nice? Yes, and Insta will prove that. A few days later. Following mom down the street, Phoebe locks her arm around mine tight for what I guess is emotional support. Nearly there now, girls, mom happily remarks, pointing to a salon further down the block. I look at Phoebe as mom talks and gives her a funny look. Phoebe grins, and she shares a quiet giggle with me. 
I'm glad you decided to come with us, Aiden, Mom continues, now power walking towards the salon. I'm not going to turn down the chance to cut off some of this bird's nest, I reply. She quickly looks at me with a sharp look that only a mother can give, then instantly looks away. You trying to poke the beast? Phoebe whispers in my ear. You've never been out with Mom when she gets her hair done, have you? I shake my head. No, should I be worried? Yes! Phoebe giggles. She's paying for us to get her hair done. Don't ruin this. Sure, I reply smirking. I thought Mom was struggling for money, though. Phoebe shrugs. Just take what you can get. Reaching the salon door, I look through the window and feel so out of place. Aiden, honestly, Mom says as she pulls the glass door open, allowing Phoebe to walk in first. Your sister is wearing a dress. Couldn't you put one on, too? I'm comfortable in these shorts and t-shirt, Mom, I answer, pushing past her into the store. Ugh. Mom huffs, stepping behind me. Teenage girls. I turn and spitefully glare at her. I swear she's doing it on purpose to wind me up. Hello there. A friendly lady greets us all, instantly making Mom ignore my staring. Hiya, Helen, Mom says, greeting the lady as she pushes past both me and Phoebe. Got me and my daughters booked in for appointments. Daughters? The woman questions, turning a curious look to me. I bashfully look away and pretend to look at my phone. Yes, Mom sternly answers. I'm just in for a trim. Phoebes and Aiden want cuts and styling. Before I know it, I'm sitting in a chair next to my sister, staring into the face I barely recognize anymore as mine. I quickly look over to Phoebe as we wait for our stylists to appear. Be brave, Phoebe mouths to me with a comforting smile. As I nod, a young woman stands behind me and smiles at me in the mirror. I'd guess she's a similar age to me. Hiya, she says, running her fingers through my long black hair. You must be Aiden. My name is Ivy. Hello, I reply as she steps in directly before me and plays with my bangs. You've got a lot of gorgeous hair, Aiden, she says, smiling. Have you thought about how much you want off? I shake my head. No one told me I had to give this some thought. Surely I can just come and they cut. What else do I need to say? Uh, I mumble, turning to Phoebe for help. You wanted it cut to a round shoulder length, didn't you, Aiden? Phoebe pipes up to rescue me. Front layered with curtain bangs? Ivy looks at me and waits for me to agree. I quickly look back at Phoebe and then back at Ivy's expectant face. Yeah... I say, not knowing what any of that really means. What my sister said. Right, she says, giving me a wry smile. Are you sure? I shrug. Yeah? Right, 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 she says, gesturing for me to stand. Shall we go to the sinks and wash your hair? Nodding, I stand and look around the room. Am I getting my hair washed? I usually don't get that service. Come with me. Ivy gently laughs, pointing to the back of the salon. Just in the back. And please, don't look so worried, Aiden. Yeah, I reply, pointing in the same direction. Thanks. You know, Ivy says as she guides me over. You kinda... Remind me of my little brother for some reason. I'm not sure why. I do? Sit down in that seat, lean back, and... Yeah. I think it's, um, how you walk. Is that a bad thing? I ask, getting comfortable in the seat in front of the hair wash sink. Nope, not at all. He's a really little cutie, I promise. She answers, turning on the shower head. A few days later. The doctor's office was quieter than usual, which didn't really help with the tension between mom and me. We'd barely said anything to each other since we left the house. We'd had another disagreement about what I'm wearing. The woman is obsessed and needs to understand that I'm currently more comfortable in pants. Quiet here today, she comments, crossing her leg and sipping her latte. I don't mind that, I reply abruptly. Fewer people staring at me. Mom scoffs between taking a few sips of her coffee. <laughs> Aiden, honey, she chuckles. Phoebe's told me about the Instagram account you'd set up. I'd say you enjoy the attention. I fold my arms tight and sigh. Ugh, 
What are you even doing here, Mom? I'm just getting test results. I can do this myself. I feel like I need to be here. She quickly answers me in an uptight fashion. Why? I complain, throwing out my arms. What do you think's going to happen? The doctors are going to accidentally transform my body back to normal? Aiden! Mom snaps angrily. Just stop before you make one of us cry again. I huff and slump down into my seat and open my legs wide. That's when Mom gives me an even more disapproving look. Knees together, she commands, pushing my right knee inwards. What if I told you? Act like a lady in public. I huff again and reluctantly bring my knees together. Mom has no idea how uncomfortable it is sitting in these tight jeans. Just like your father. Mom whines, sipping her latte. At least one good thing's happened with all these changes. You're beginning to look more like me. Than him. I sit forward and give my mom the dirtiest look. Aiden O'Brien? The nurse calls out, interrupting what would have been, no doubt, a heated argument. I repress my rage, swallow my anger, and look at the nurse with a forced smile. Mom follows behind me as we are ushered to the doctor's office. My usual doctor is sitting at the desk. Ah, Aiden, Dr. Matthews says, greeting us with a smile. Please do sit. Getting comfortable, I feel my body tremble with hope for good news. Seems your leg has healed very well, the doctor says with a big smile as he looks up from his chart. Bad news on the other fronts, however. What do you mean? Mom asks, leaning forward. Do we know what's causing his transition yet? Are you able to pinpoint it? Mrs. O'Brien. The doctor nervously chuckles with his hands up. Miss? She corrects. The doctor sits back in his chair and clears his throat. Looking directly at me, he shakes his head. <clears throat> Sorry, son. He says, pushing his glasses up on the bridge of his nose. We can't figure out how the hormones are getting into your system. Oh, I say, in a disappointed long mumble. I know I've already asked you this. The doctor continues. Do you take any extra supplements or any sort of medicine? No, he doesn't! Mom rudely interrupts. We've told you this already. I don't know why we must go around in circles. Dr. Matthews then lets out a long breath, and his chair creaks as he leans back. We can't refer any real treatment options until we've established a cause. He says, Have you been attending the counseling I arranged, Aiden? I see that you've had your hair cut. It's very nice. No, I mumble in answer. I haven't gone. Look, the doctor says softly. I will arrange more blood work next week, and in the meantime, you both need to be precisely recording what Aiden is doing throughout the week. There has to be an external reason for this. Okay, doctor, Mom says in agreement. I will take personal responsibility to ensure it's correct. Thank you, he replies. We will get to the bottom of this. We both know you're not a bearded dragon, Aiden. There has to be an explanation.